Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I'm going to try and do all of the in-town stuff off-screen from now on, because I think that would save a lot of time so you don't have to spend like six or seven minutes watching me do things. So I'm just going to try and recap them. I recruited the Houndsmaster, I fired the Antiquarian, I went through the guild, and I upgraded everyone's skills and gave them different things, since I noticed you could actually do these. Like, I noticed these before, but I don't know why I didn't consider buying them, unlock them. So I got our Crusader a lunge, so that if he's not in the front, he still has an attack he can do, and it'll move him closer to the front so he's not wasting time, stuff like that. I upgraded the Sanitarium so that it could get bigger. I had to get the second slot here before I could get the second slot here. I'm treating some negative quirks. And everybody else is just doing stress relief, other than this guy having his disease cured. So with that being said, I think we're about ready to go. And it only took a minute. Where are we going? Me medium, 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 short. And it has busts. I do actually need more of those. Medium short, but level 3. Well, it looks like this is the only one that's applicable to us not dying. So I want him in the front. I want him in the second spot. I want her in the back. And I want him here. And with that, I think we're good to go. This is short, so 8 torches. Just go for like 12 food. I always want at least two spades. Skeleton key in case we get a chest. And I'll just take one of each of these. So hopefully we make our money back. The quest reward is 3,000, so as long as we get at least 1,500 out of this place, I think we break even. I'm pretty sure we were at 16,000 and something. But this run should go better since we have some of the stronger people in the party. I would like to upgrade the blacksmith too, but... I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Explore 90% of the rooms. Oh, okay, there's another room after this. I was gonna say, maybe we don't have to go that way. Yep, why can't I move you? Well, that might as well as go this way. And shovel time. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Is this one of the things I put the medicinal herbs on? Cured the carcass of any disease. That's how you get lots of food. Maybe I should have brought more torches. Nah, we're good. She can throw daggers. Back to the pit. And she's really good at it. He can get bit. And not resist the blight. I got Grape Shot on him. Because I love Grape Shot. I wish I'd change their abilities out sooner. Buff. Wow, they really do not like that guy. I mean, it's good that it's him instead of the others, because he's a lot tankier, but still. And I think it's time to get smited. Nine. She can throw more daggers. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. So good. Pistols. All right, because he can't hit the person in the very front. I was like, what? He's in position. No way. Wicked Slice! Another one falls. Citrine! Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Deeds. This is exactly what we need. When we get 20 deeds, we can get better weapons. Scouting. Ooh, double battle. This is a grave, so we put holy water on it? This is a grave, so we burn it. Any venom? Do I use a key? Okay. Red. Bone Rebel! 
I didn't get her the... Oh, right. I, I got the other grave robber the twin dagger throw. My bad. Right, I gave her the pick to the face so that she could still do something even if she gets displaced. And one in the bag. Executed with impunity. Grape shot wouldn't do much since it would only hit one of them. Pistol shot. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Please let me go next. Awesome. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Look at what happens when we have a decent party. Use the torch, please. And we surprise them. Yes. Grape chat. All right, the grape chat hits the first three, not the back three. I'm stupid. Finish the dog or the big guy. It's more likely that the dog will die. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And then you crash up. I knew they were gonna get through this time, but still. One damage. That's not bad. They resisted. I had a feeling that was gonna be bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, though. 10? 15? I should have hit the other one. This party's so healthy. Get them both! Ah, uh, they're going to get to go again. And because he doesn't have that reading holy thing, it can't hit them both. The one time I would actually use it. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And just wickedly slice them. Decimated. Unless it's something a like the victory, but a victory nonetheless. Unless it's something like the Crusaders. Uh... Is my key gone? Where did my key go? I didn't end up using it on that gravestone. I do not remember using the key. Wasn't it right there? What was I talking? Waiting to be spent. Right, 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 right. Okay. The abilities that actually change your position. I wanted to avoid, other than his lunge to the front, because all of his abilities depend on him being in the front, too. With the exception of that one. So I saw a bunch of other stuff that was like, you move forwards, too, when you do this attack. And then I was like, why would I want that person in the front? That's just suicide. We have a lot of extra food. You should eat. Like, look at all this extra food. It's ridiculous. Oh, he's full. There's only so much you can eat. That makes sense. It's not like you could eat a whole cow. I'm fully restored. Doesn't work like that. Get shoveled. We actually already used both of the shovels. Maybe... Littering oh, the torch. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Yeah, with this 1500 though, and the gems, if we succeed in clearing this place out, I think we'll make a profit. Immediate conflict. So if we come over here, and we use a couple torches, and I remember that it's a right click and not a left click. Sorry about that. I have four dogs that only know how to eat, poop, and bark. So, yeah. Somebody came home and they went nuts. They they bit me, and then I bled. You didn't miss much. But that dog is missing seven hit points. He's already bleeding, what you gonna do? Grape shot! Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Crushed. Bring him straight to the front. So beasts don't leave bodies or something? Because I don't think that they bled them or anything.
Might as well as bandage. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And they will. Eventually. Uh I'm nope, not touching it. You salvage a torch. How delightful. I'll use it. We didn't die. Traps. Hunger. That's fine. We got so much food and ain't even a thing. You know what? Eat even more food. I'm so generous. What's in the box? Solid if snake. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. If only it was a cardboard box. So, 13 and 8. Get. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping for a crit. That would have been great. She's been doing that a lot lately. Creep shot! I thought that this guy dodged for a second. I was like, how? I could have killed both of them in the front. If I threw a dagger at this one and then hit him with the mace, but I wanted to try and kill these people. Because I think they're a lot scarier. No. Yep, I'm just gonna go for it. I want the guys in the back to die before they use stressful incantations. Well, you know, they both got it off. Why are you so slow? He can't actually hit them. I'm an idiot. Yep. That was poor planning on my part. Oh, he dodged. That's terrible. Why are you dumping it all on this guy? He can't handle it. Spread it out. You can't crush him. You do not have a way to hit them. Defend! From this position, you don't have a way to hit them either. So now they'll want to attack him, and he's buffing himself, and he's buffing him. Dagger throw! Okay, so that didn't actually matter. This expedition at least promises success. That's pretty cool. Scouting out the room. I see the trap. Disarmed! I love it when that happens. I wish his stress went down. Why did his stress go down? Darkness closes Spider in, web. haunting the hearts of men. I'm so glad nothing terrible happened. One, two, three. Hey, there was nothing in here. I see you, face. Ooh, I wish we did some scouting. Oh, I couldn't see it. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. But it will help me salvage an unburned torch. Oh, let's continue adventuring. Why would we stop now? There's just one room left. And look, it's already scouted. Oh, there's not even anything there. Them losing some health now doesn't matter. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. I didn't actually think about that. It would stress them out. I was just thinking they're going to take damage and we're going to go back to 10 anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then there's nothing in here because we already scouted it. So then we leave. And we make a profit. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Our victories are mounting. All the things. Well, we got two deeds. That's the important thing. Actually, we did need more crests. Yes! Two! He's sickly. He has a problem with corpses. She's a maniac. Oh. 
Man! But she's two away from rank three? Yeah, they get two XP per, so... And he's one away from stuff. And he's rank one now. Good things will happen. We're getting there. An exquisite example of craftsmanship. And futility. A job well done. He stayed up working for days, inspired by the rare quality of his materials, and determined to do them justice with his own skill. Free upgrade, armor times one. Which means, now that this guy... He's no longer paranoid. No longer paranoid. Wonderful. Which means we can get, uh... Armor for the guy who just hit rank two. Or rank one, rather. So, I'll do all of that, and then start the next episode and ca uh, recap it there. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.